<laughs> Last subject, and homework is done. Gross. Biology? Invertebrates are nature's hot. Invertebrates are hot. It's that slow spinny thing again. Joy, make it go faster. Any second now, it's just thinking. I'll speed uh. things up. <laughs> Nice one, Anger. Oh, so broadband makes me sad. Ah, we're gonna be here all night. Hey, guys, this is really unacceptable. Guys, guys, maybe that could help. Huh? What? You think the answer is gonna fall from the sky? No, 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 not that. That. Demand more joy from your broadband. Switch to super fast Sky Fiber. Free for one year. Sky, believe in better. And see Disney Pixar's Inside Out in cinemas now. As a group, we decided that the ongoing campaign between Sky and Disney would provide us with an insight into how two giant companies work together and use marketing techniques to appeal to their target audiences. It stood out as a very interesting and successful relationship which could appeal to a variety of audiences. Not only there were many resources on the relationship between Sky and Disney, but there was evidence of future collaborations between the two companies, proving how successful the business relationship is. With different areas to research and study, this campaign worked well when it came to assigning presentation roles. The main areas of study included future collaborations, statistics, consumer behaviour, how successful the campaign was, and the general information about the relationship. This section of the report will analyse the reason why Sky has partnered with Disney in the latest campaign Inside Out in order to lo launch its new Superfast Fiber. The purpose is to demonstrate that behind a simple campaign designed to be successful, often there is a solid relation of trust based on previous collaboration and may be success already achieved before. The partnership between Disney and Sky is due to a long and strong relationship based on many years of successful cooperation. Disney found in Sky a powerful means to share and extend to a wider audience its content through dedicated, channel, through dedicated channels. It was in 1988 when for the first time a Disney channel appeared on a Sky platform. Today in the UK, Disney currently operates three television channels on Sky, Disney Channel, Disney Junior and Disney XT. On the other hand, Sky found Disney's content suitable for its market target and a concrete way to get closer and extend the reach to a younger audience. Sky and Disney's, uh, Disney's relationship got stronger when in 2011 was launched Disney Media Plus that is essentially is an integrated and sales promotion and marketing solution operation of Disney's in Europe, Middle East and Africa. The mission of Disney Media Plus basically is to know brands and provide them where suitable and possible with innovative content and sponsor sponsorship opportunities to help them increase their awareness and raise their profile. This is about offering brands the emotional connection to Disney content. This includes creating bespoke content for brands and working with them to solve issues. Disney Media Plus uh, represented another opportunity of partnership between Sky and Disney, as shown by the Fast Fiber campaign sold by Sky in 2013 and 2015, where have been used recognizable Disney characters, such as Toy Story ones and Inside Out ones, um, to promote a Sky product, but at the same time a Disney production. The choice of these two Disney classics is due to the incredible success and spread they had when first came out, Inside Out above all. The campaign on air in 2013, featuring Toy Story charters as testimonials, improved Skyfast broadband sales of 22%. On the other side, Disney took advantage from that spot, including a tailor-made Toy Story clip, to promote a 21 TV special entitled Toy Story of Terror, to be aired in October 2013. Sky, after this successful campaign with Disney, wanted to renew that formula, engage in another appealing Disney production, such as Inside Out, to increase sales as they had done before. In 2012, for the first time in 17 years, Disney Channel succeeded in dethroning Nickelodeon to become the top-rated television network for children aged 2 to 11. Uh, this result proves the effectiveness of the partnership in which both Sky Disney, by introducing new series and a wider program's choice, including also content for a bit older audience, and Sky, through its promoting and launching movies related to Disney World, help each other in the growing process. A further step in Disney and Sky cooperation was the launch of Sky Disney Movie Channel in March 
2013. This was a multi-year deal between Sky and Walt Disney Company. It was the first time Disney was involved in a co-branding and film channel with a worldwide coverage. Sky extended even more its collaboration with Disney by introducing on the TV platform a new thematic channel totally dedicated to the Disney princesses. Thus, from the 3rd of April to the 12th in 2014, it was possible for Sky customers to watch their favorite Disney airings only standing on one channel 24 hours on 24 hours. This turned into being a smart move for Sky, gathering for those nine days a massive affluence of both the oldest romantic audience on one side and the younger teens and kids on the other side. And Disney had its advantage too, as through this process, promotional week, it had the opportunity to present to a young audience its, cla its classic masterpieces such as Cinderella, Alice in the Wonderland, The Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid and Aladdin. This was also an ideal platform to introduce new Disney productions such as Maleficent and Frozen. At last, in May 2015, Sky partnered with Disney after the Disney production Tomorrowland had launched into the market to conduct a live interview with actor George Clooney during the half time break for the Manchester United versus Arsenal Premier League match. In conclusion, the story of the successful partnership between Sky and Disney show our cooperation based on a long-term vision and clear and shared strategy. A flawless execution and relation of trust can bring strong advantages and build value for both parties. Virgin's Sofa Bear campaign, which was released on the 4th of October 2014, appeals to mainly adults due to its use of the film The Wolf of Wall Street, which has an 18 certificate. The advert also has a very relaxed feel as it starts off without any music. This contrasts with the other broadband adverts that are very lively and fast-paced. The campaign gives an example of its customers being able to use Netflix through its package. This is important as Netflix is a crucial competitor of SkyGo. BT's ongoing family life campaign began in 2005 with the story of Adam. Since it first aired, we have seen him meet his wife and create a family, all with the use of BT platforms. The latest part in the story sees Jane and Adam's son at university using the BT Infinity broadband. The entire campaign has been family orientated with the latest adverts aiming at new target audience of students. This will also attract adults as they will f find it relatable. Freeview's Dream to Dream campaign was a big budget animation that targets families through the use of emotion. Unfortunately, it isn't immediately clear what the advert is trying to sell. Previous family orientated campaigns include the cat and the budgie which also use animation. Freeview appear to spend more money on their adverts, perhaps because they are less popular and are therefore trying to attract new customers. Effects on society. As this video uses a cross advertising system, the effects on society are much greater than other campaigns. The inside out part appeals to children and will influence their decision to go and see the film at the cinema. This will also make a longer term profit for Sky, as people will buy it from Sky movies at home when it is released exclusively. Adults will also be affected by the video because they will be able to relate to at least one of the characters in regards to the broadband that they currently have. Sky have b been clever by using Disney's characters in their adverts as they do appeal to children. Theoretically, Sky is investing in the future demographic. Sky boss Jeremy Darrock said at the launch of the Sky Academy, a whole generation of people have been born since Sky launched in 1989 and they are their families are the real bedrock of our business. This was mentioned after Sky announced that they plan to create job opportunities for one million young people, proving that they are fully invested in their future audience. They also contribute £6 billion a year to the UK's gross dem domestic product. In their 2014 annual report, Sky State, we believe in better. That means offering a better choice of high quality entertainment for the whole family. <laughs> this is why they choose many different platforms and methods to connect with their wide target audience. Through Disney, Sky are connecting with the youngest of their demographic. As the advert is interacted on the YouTube platform, this affects society by making it relatable to everyone, despite how they f may have different experiences with previous broadband providers. Because B Sky B and Disney Pixar have been working in partnership since March 2013, Sky has strategically released ad campaigns that synergize between the two conglomerates ever since. 
Following Sky's Toy Story themed broadband campaign in September 2013, it seems their broadband share in the market has increased to 23% by December that year. According to thinkbroadband.com, this means that they had the second largest share in the market by 2014, suggesting that their advertising campaigns are widely successful in attracting consumers to their particular broadband. This is also supported by the fact that Sky have since released both Minions and Inside Out campaigns that all consist of similar features. On a simple level, the campaign's successes rely on each, each of the advertising re release, both entertaining and persuasive for as many as possible. This is known as the one-step model of communication. Mass media will broadcast this campaign through multiple platforms to target individual demographics. Whether these demographics like the advert or not, if the campaign was successful, they will still talk about it. Getting the word out on both the film and the fibre broadband to as many people as possible, even if they didn't see the adverts themselves. The advert can be shown to anybody and therefore should be shown throughout the day on any channel as this will only attract a specific few of the adverts are only aired on certain channels at certain times. At a glance you may realise that the colours and cartoon characters from the Inside Out Sky campaign mainly target towards a younger demographic with ages between 3 and 10 years old. This age category is the main target audience of the film Inside Out, therefore by simply adding the characters to the advert, Sky automatically gained the attention of these children. Sky attempt to aim at ad advertisements more towards the younger generation with hope that the children talk to their families about the campaign afterwards. By doing this, Sky also hoped to plant a seed in the child's mind for the future when they need broadband supplier. After all, the company's values include investment over the long term because they want to build a business that is durable, according to Sky's 2015 annual report. Not only can the campaign just rely on the children talking to, to their parents about it, therefore the adverts also need to attract the adult audience. The main consumers of Sky Broadband are adults. The humour element of each character be in a mood, for example, joy, anger and even sadness. It is ideas like this that Sky and Disney seem to be great synergy partnership as everybody feels that the specific feelings whilst they are using their current broadband provider, theoretically being the reason to switch to Sky, uh, Sky Fiber. Another way the campaign attracts an older audience is the way it allows them to rem reminisce about the past as a simpler time, suggesting that the switching to Sky makes uh, for a much simpler time. To conclude, the Inside Out Sky Fiber campaign provides a perfect example of a successful ad campaign. Not only does Sky benefit in sales through the use of one step model of communication, but Disney also increased box office sales of their film. Also due to the partnership between the two companies, Sky now own the right to show the old Disney films on their Sky Movies Disney Channel and also own the rights to stop Netflix from being able to show a lot of their new films increasing sales in the Sky Movies package. With Sky and Disney having a collaborative past, it wasn't a surprise when both companies decided to launch a new campaign, benefiting both sides of the deal. In 2015, Sky and Disney not only used Disney Pixar's Inside Out as a marketing basis, but Sky also secured a movie and TV agreement, which allows Sky customers to enjoy Disney entertainment on any type of Sky service. The Telegraph newspaper claims that Sky has extended its deal for rights to new Disney releases which includes a very successful Star Wars movies and brand. What this has allowed Sky to do is to block out other similar VOD services similar to their own, such as Netflix and Amazon Prime. Sky claim that they have secured the first run rights to Disney's films in a multi-year agreement. This service will allow Sky paying customers to view Disney, Pixar, Marvel and Star Wars films as soon as they finish the cinema runs. Sky customers will have access to these releases through a number of Sky services like DVD or Download to Own, securing a near future business agreement between the two partners. Sky are not new to this type of marketing strategy. Sky and Disney have nearly been working together now for 25 years and will continue to partner with the entertainment giant. Aside from its use of children animation, Sky and Disney have a relationship with Sky's provision of Disney Channel and Disney XD, which are very successful channels. Not only to secure a business partnership, but it creates a strong relationship between the customers of Sky and the entertainment that Sky provides. Brand loyalty in this case is achieved by a variety of services provided to both Sky and Disney customers over a matter of years. When analysing the statistics of Sky and Disney, you have to take into consideration the purpose of this marketing campaign. The main catalyst for this campaign was for Sky to announce its latest product, which was Sky Superfast Fibre. 
Sky had an estimated 12 million households taking its pay-for-TV services in 2015 and this number is expected to increase in 2016, with Sky being the predominant provider of pay-for-TV services in the UK. Therefore, a marketing objective for Sky was to use the inside-out commercial as a springboard to reach a larger demographic for their product. Sky and Disney have, have decided to use YouTube as just one of their multimedia platforms in this marketing campaign. This is a cunning move by Sky since YouTube has an, over an estimated 1 billion users. Since the release of this advert, mid-July 2015, over half a million views have been amassed on YouTube alone. However, these views may not reflect an accurate engagement with the advert based on the fact the campaign has only been shared 180 times. The Inside Out commercial has also been shown on different media platforms. Another marketing ploy by Sky was, was to promote the film on Sky News. By doing this, positive press is being published about the film in conjunction with adverts promoting Sky's broadband fibre package, which will ultimately lead to Disney and Sky both benefiting from the campaign. In a sense, this is an example of a perfect synergy, whereby both conglomerates work together to increase profits. On the same day as the release of this marketing campaign, BT had lodged a complaint with Ofcom due to the fact that Sky had a controlling market share of the broadband market. The implication of this lodged complaint may have prompted Sky to release this adver advertising campaign earlier in the year. This can be reflected from the YouTube statistics that show the peak amount of views start rising at the beginning of September. Based on data sourced from Google Trends, searches for Sky Fibre Broadband since the release of this marketing campaign have increased from 4.7% to a peak of 10% in August. That is more than double search results for the previous month, which can be chalked down to the campaign's success. The specific campaign is part of a continuation of animated Sky promotion packages. Drawing on past success with Sky and other Disney films such as Frozen, the message the campaign conveys is clear and concise. A problem is identified with slower broadband providers and Sky remedies this issue with their new fibre broadband package. Sky has experienced a 20% increase in growth of its consumers using its pay for TV services in 2014 to 2015, with Mintel reporting that Sky had an estimated 10 million household subscribers in 2014, to The Guardian reporting that over 12 million customers are now paying for its TV services in 2015. The predominant media vehicle used to promote this advert has been through traditional media, television. However, the internet has had an integral role in promoting this film and broadband package. With Sky teaming up with Disney, they have almost changed the mundane perception of broadband being a needs to an end by conveying emotion through Disney's animation to build a rapport with their customers.